Hey everyone, it's Miss Godfrey, and today we're going to learn how to draw a bird in Google Drawing. So we will get a new Google, Google Drawing, and I got this from my drive. So you can go to your drive and go to New, More, Google Drawing. You can also find Drive through ClassLink. Okay, so here's what we're going to make today. We are working on things that are near and far or foreground and background. So we're going to practice those concepts with doing a little bird on a branch and then a scene in the back. Now remember, you are a creative artist. You can add flowers. You could make your own bird. We can change the shapes. I'll just show you one and then I'll show you lots of other options too. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is draw this branch. And I'm excited to share a new tool today. So you are going to, under the word format, select line, the little arrow. I want to use my poly line tool. I think we used this one other time when we worked on some perspective stuff, but we're going to use it again. So maybe it's not brand new, but we haven't used it much. Okay, so down, this is halfway. I want to go a little bit lower. I want to go to the bottom third of my page. And I'm actually, if you notice, I'm starting off my page. I'm going to click off my page and I'm just going to go straight and do another click, maybe angle up a little bit and then angle back down. So that is like varying your line. So making it have go an angle and then up and then down. And I'll come back in and about at that point click and go a little wider. Again, I want to go off the page and reconnect. You can always grab your arrow here and double click, 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 and you can make adjustments if you don't love your shape, okay? Making sure that I change this to brown and that I make sure that my border is transparent. Wonderful, I've got my tree branch. The next thing I want to do here is I want to start on my bird. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm going to insert a shape And we want to go find this teardrop. Okay, so what's really fun about the teardrop is once you drag it out, I'm going to rotate it. The point is going to be the tail. And this little diamond here is great because you can sort of twist it out like a bird tail. And you can maybe make him fatter, taller, and you can get a really great bird shape, okay? Um, change it to any color you want. I'm going to go with a blue. And again, it's really important to make sure your outline is transparent. I'm going to insert the beak with my geometric shape. I guess you, I bet you can guess it. That's right. We're going to just use a triangle. I am going to make sure it is transparent as well. Oh, if that happens, this is a good learning moment. Click back on it and everything will come back. So here we go, I'm gonna make it orange and rotate it, the angle to fit. I like to use my left and right arrows sometimes to move things into place. I'm gonna insert the eyes now and I'm gonna use the shape tool for a circle. And I'm actually gonna show you, when you zoom in, it sometimes is easier to work. And go back and grab my arrow. I might want that beak a little closer. Okay, so we are on the eyes. So insert shape circle. If you hold your shift button, it'll be perfect and nice and round. If you want an oval, then don't hold your shift button. And I'm gonna color this black. And I'm just going to duplicate it. That's control D. I'm gonna hold my shift button. I'm gonna go smaller. I'm going to turn this white. A little highlight there. Great. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out. Wonderful. All right, so now we need, and again, if you want to make any adjustments, I may want that a little bit longer. Now we need to insert the wing. So I like to use this, um, sorry about that, <laughs> uh, this shape here, it is called the cord. So I'm going to draw my wing here and I'm going to show you how you can 
change the angle even on this wing to get it how you like it. I'm gonna go a lighter blue and a transparent outline and just move that into place. There's my little wing. And if you don't like something, you can always make adjustments. That's what's so fun about Google Drawing. So I could, you know, adjust the eye and make it smaller, loads of things to do. We're gonna work on the feet now. So definitely let's zoom in. And we're gonna start working on the feet. You want to insert the little half moon shape. And I want his little feet wrapped around the um, branch here. So there we go, I'm gonna change it to orange and it needs to be transparent. Oops, let me click on it again. Orange and transparent. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate it, Control D, and I need three of them. And what you do now is you have to rotate them a little bit so that they connect. Um, it might take a minute to adjust it just how you like it. I think I rotated that first one too far. <laughs> there we go. So those are my feet sort of wrapping around um, the branch here. And now I need the leg. So I'm going to insert a shape. And I am looking for the trapezoid. Okay, that's a great geometric shape. And this is going to be my leg. I am gonna angle it just slightly so it looks a little bit better. Change it to orange and transparent. Change it to orange, I meant, and the border transparent. And you can make adjustments here. And you can also make adjustments with the diamond if you want it pointier. So that's a way to do it. Now what you need to do is hold down your shift button and I'm just still making my little small adjustments. Um, hold down your shift button and let's click this and then let's click the one, two, three. So you have to get all of them, all of his little toes there and I'm going to arrange and group. And now I can duplicate it and drag it over. Now this one, I could want it behind the bird. And so that shortcut is your control and your down arrow. And you have to click it several times. I've already done it four times before it jumps back. Okay, so now I've got my little bird feet. Let's zoom back out. Okay, I'm gonna add some leaves to my branch. I'm going to insert shape. I'm going to grab the heart here. And I want to angle it. And I want it to be green and transparent because I'm going to duplicate it. Control D. Rotate it the other way. Keep rotating until the points kind of come together and they overlap some. There we go. Make sure you have your arrow and group these, arrange group. And then I can control D duplicate and I can put them around on my tree branch however I want. If you want them to be behind the tree branch, you just use your control and your down arrow, hitting it several times, because it has to go through layers, and it will eventually pop behind there. Um, and I did the same thing over here. Control D, I added one there. Now it's in front, I want it behind. Hold my control, click, 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 click. You have to keep tapping. Eventually it will get there. I like it sort of at an angle. 
and off the page. There we go. Okay, so you've got this awesome bird that you've drawn, and now this is our foreground. It is what is near us. It's in the front, and now we need a background. What's in the back? So you are welcome to draw your own background. That is one thing you can do. You can also go to insert image and you can search the web. I highly recommend that you do cartoon background because the Google drawing, it has that cartoon feel. So there's loads of landscapes. You can do cartoon landscape, cartoon farm, cartoon mountains, okay? So here's some nice mountains here. Remember, once you get your image, you stretch it out to fill your screen and you have to send it backwards, right? So you're going to control down, down, down. Up here comes my bird. Sent it all the way to the back. All right. So um, you can add in some fun things. I might want to insert a little cloud or something, just making sure that my borders are transparent. Now, if it's way far away, it's going to be small. So that's going to be a tiny thing for you, making sure it's transparent. 